lost your mind. Starting in the head of 2016, YouTube has decided to make a few changes around the YouTube platform that caused a lot of issues prior to this. And I think the huge corruption starts off with one of the few YouTubers that has been on the platform for a very long time to not only fall off in the face of the earth, but literally decide to result into misery. And I think a lot of people need to understand that so many YouTubers that have been on this platform for a long time, and granted, there are some YouTubers that have still sustained their level of excellence over the years, even though due to the changes of YouTube. But there were some that couldn't even get their fan base anymore because a lot of them have fell off because of it, because of the fact that their fans all left them. And it became a trend here where a lot of big YouTubers have fell off because of these major changes. And YouTube had just sat there and watched them die out and watched them fade out into the underground. And that was the main change that I've noticed that have literally made me realize that YouTube is betraying their own YouTube creators that have been there for a long time. Some of them, not all. And it goes to show you that that right there was also the beginning of YouTube becoming a corrupt platform and corporation. Now, due to the recent events that happened prior, a lot of people need to understand the issue here, because one thing's for sure, this is definitely something that YouTube has done for a long time. They have taken the suspect's side over someone who has been a victim of that person. And over time, I've realized this, and it just makes it worse prior and the reason I wanted to say this is because one YouTube has been known to keep suspects on the platform and the weird thing is is that some of them have literally have done something that is on the court of law in real life but they still stay on the platform as soon as they restart a channel but as soon as someone has done it and I'm giving a prime example here. As soon as someone else has literally have made these issues for the last few years and they try to come back on the platform multiple times, they get deleted immediately. They get terminated immediately. This shows you that YouTube is picking the suspects and they are literally siding with the suspects over the years. Hell, even someone like EDP is back on the fucking platform. And this right here just shows that they are siding with suspects instead of victims. Now, you guys are wondering how the victim part plays. Well, going up to recent events that happened. So, Quantum TV was basically exposed for the copyright abuse that basically happened over the last few years by the act man. And Recently, the Axe Man has become demonetized because of this incident, and YouTube has literally decided to demonetize him for a satire joke that basically was telling YouTube that he was getting doxxed by Quantum TV and he was getting threatened by him because of the fact that he was being called out for those copyright abuses. So, as a result, you took the suspect's side and punished the victim. This shows that the CEO is on that bullshit and she has literally corrupted this platform and is about to, at least.
This platform will become a corrupted corporation one day. And I'll still stand here by saying this. YouTube is corrupt. And for those of y'all who are my fans and anything else like that, share this out. Let the people know that YouTube is slowly, slowly corrupting their own platform.